Hey, generic greetings. Um, back here with some more Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, same sort of thing. Uh, you might notice I threw a floor over here and put down some chests. I've also started sorting through some of the stuff that was in this chest. Um, it's slightly, I mean, this is now the miscellaneous random garbage chest. This doesn't belong in here anymore. Um, and instead, this is the blocks chest. You can see I harvested the mossy stone from the um, uh, dungeon up there. And this is a down there someplace. I don't know where. I've done some mining. I'm in reasonably good shape. I finally found diamonds. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to set up um, an enchanting room today. Or at least get the preparations for one going. Um, as well as, I don't know how loud this is, but I feel like those spiders are kind of annoying. I don't know. Oh, whatever. Um, but I'll probably get an enchanting room started, and I'll probably also build a portal. Um, and this is just the, you know, resources chest. Um, and as you can see, I've got plenty of wheat and plenty of cocoa beans. I'm, I'm not... And I, I haven't done anything more than just, you know, continue with this, but they grow so fast and they're, you know, it, it's, it's absurd. It's just crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous how fast they... That's a creeper. That's... <laughs> Jeez. I don't like that. They're, they're scary. They're, they're not, not nice. And there are, of course, still spiders everywhere. Anyway, Lorenzo is still there. Everything's fine. I've managed to work my way up to two double cobble chests. We'll see. I haven't filled it yet, but it's almost halfway full. Um, plus quite a decent amount of other stuff. Um, I can't remember how much of this I had done last time I checked in. Um, but I have started work on the next level down, as you can see. Um, over here um, to get it matched up with this one I'm gonna see if I can go that far on each of these probably um, and then I'm basically gonna have to get to the nether unless I want to get really creative with like ladders and stuff in and among and between and behind and so on um, because it, it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be crazy but one way or another, I should be able to make that work. Um, not sure what else I was going to do. I expanded my branch mine a whole hell of a lot. Um, and that's, you know, that is where it is. I guess, I guess I'm going to end up going outside. Um, I guess on the pretense of getting wood. But maybe I'll also just look around a ways as well. Hopefully I don't get ambushed and killed by a spider. Stupid spiders. I hate spiders. I don't like spiders. Not as much as I don't like some other things, but certainly do not like spiders. Uh, good to have blocks on the hotbar. That's a pick. That's not a block. Um, let's see. Where did I go last time? I went... Ah, bones. Those are always good. Um, I went off in this direction someplace, I think. Might be worth checking out there again, just because I still want to find that cave. If I don't find it this exploration session, I'll probably just do a bunch of exploring off camera and, you know, see if I can find it. And if I find it, then I'll either start recording then or mark it off and come back here next time I am recording. Um, so we shall see. Here's another cave which is not the cave which I... No, this is the cave which I explored. Hi, cow. Is this... Is there anything? I feel like I... I mean, I checked out that far before. I'm not sure how much farther... Well, it goes someplace. Maybe I'll explore this quick. Damn it, I need to remember to come back here, like, 
doesn't oh that doesn't do much whatever okay never mind it's a moot point all right um in which case i will continue the quest for the other cave thing that i hoped to find um which must have been somewhere around here i think it was near a river i think it was um like on this transition between grasslands and jungle um i don't remember the coordinates um in fact i can probably just sort of make those go away um not looking familiar and it's n i'm not seeing anything particularly interesting right now might be worth exploring around in the jungle a little while, see if I can come across a desert temple, or rather a jungle temple, though a desert temple would be awesome. I hear that desert temples in the jungle, though, are considerably more rare. Um, that's not nearly as common. In fact, it's just, you know, me flubbing my words. But whatever. I'm not even overtired. I don't have any excuse to be this unenthusiastic right now. That would appear to be ocean over there. That's my base off in that direction. So I guess I'll follow the river this way for a ways. See what I come across. All these animals are reminding me that I do need to get um, farms set up for them. The, you know, chickens and cows and sheep and pigs, eventually. Oh no, isn't this pretty? This is quite pretty. Look at this. Quite scenic. Got... Again, not what I was looking for, but quite cool. Quite pretty. It's neat. Look at all that sugar cane. That's another thing that I need to set up with a sugar cane farm. I should probably actually be keeping some kind of list. Doing something to keep track in order to not just lose track of everything and once more have absolutely nothing done between episodes. But whatever. Um Looks like this river comes out again, so I guess I will continue following it. I don't really feel like jungle exploration today, although again, I do want to eventually. So that is, I can't remember if I've grabbed cacti yet. I think I did last time. I'll grab one again, just to be safe. And rub myself against it, that's fine. Thank you, lag. Uh, yeah, I've been here. I came right through here last time, I think. This might be the same desert with the um, dungeon, as a matter of fact. Oh, this looks unfamiliar. I don't know what this. I might just not be remembering it. Lighting errors, no caves. It was in grasslands anyway, I'm pretty sure. What biome is this? Jungle. There's no trees. No trees and no shrubbery. Huh. I love the grass. That's a point. If I were to, like, clear cut a section of jungle and just, you know, like, use the grass as, like, grasslands. That would look really cool. Like it would be, that would be, that would be neat. I, I need to do that at some point. Um, I'm gonna head this way. I should have made a map. In fact, that should be something I make before I do next episode. Let's just um, make a map and see about 
filling it in with this general area uh, because it is it would certainly be worth getting to know where I am and getting a feel for the surroundings and we okay that's an interesting land formation right there I'm actually starting to wonder if um, the cave I'm thinking of was on the other side of things um, between like this grasslands and that jungle my home is probably my home cave thing is probably that way right now but this is actually this is looking promising I'm way off on the other side and I feel like this is much closer oh look this is a cool place anyway just look at this this is um got a little island here is that ocean I think that might be ocean this looks neat and it's getting dark um all right that might just be it for today because I'm not quite ready to risk being out at night without armor if only because it would mar the landscape irreparably probably because creepers ha <sighs> moving right along yeah i think that my house is just on the other side of this forest unless i'm very much mistaken should be like right around this yeah there we are that's right where I came out which in turn is right like on the other side of Sarah yeah yeah okay here we go and then that comes out over there okay cool excellent I'm getting better at finding my way around the landscape and I feel like my don't mind that that's just Andrew he just came online so um I need to remember to turn off Skype in the future um but whatever I guess what can I do next I could do a little bit more mining but that's annoying and time-consuming um Oh, I could work on um, converting the zombie spawner into a XP farm. I guess I'll do that. It's not a great use of my time, but, you know, at least it's something to do. Yeah, I did have cactus, whatever. Whatever. Um, did I have eggs already? Yeah, okay. Stack the eggs up. No, cobblestone does not go there. Um, gonna need another pick. Wow, I've gone through so many iron picks lately. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, that means I need to go up here to get the crafting bench. Make a pick. And then we'll head down and see about converting that zombie spawner. I've done basically nothing with it except I re I stumbled upon it again um, when I was working on the um, when I was um, just you know going through the caves and stuff. I was mining um, and I just figured I'd grab all the mossy stone out of it. Do I have any more? I know I have at least a bit more smooth stone that I can make into bricks. Yeah, okay, I'll just take a stack and process that into bricks and that'll probably be good to start off. This is probably not going to be a pretty, it's not going to be all that elaborate um, just because I can't be bothered right now. Um, it's not really worth it. Um, I'm just gonna do a really basic thing to get them spawning and um, get 
the XP from them just by, you know, hitting them with a sword a few times, probably. I'm not even probably going to do anything with gravity and water elevators now that I think about it. It's probably just going to be, you know, they spawn and head down just a little ways, and then um, they end up, you know, right in my face so that I can hit them with a sword kind of thing. Um, as long as they are set up in such a way as to not be able to damage me. Okay, let's see about taking out all this cobble, get this place cleaned up a bit. Um, I am probably going to want to maximize the spawning area, so that means this level to... Wait, they can spawn one lower though, right? Yeah, I think so. I need to remember how spawners work. Um, so, yeah, just knock this down by a block. I need to remember not to do that because the, um, basically the instant that there is a valid spawning space, they are probably going to be trying to spawn there, so I don't really want to mess myself over like that. Okay. How big is it? How big is the spawning space? Uh, I need to it's based around the northwest rule, so or you know, some variation on said rule. I use this little arrow here and I know that that direction is northwest, as I recall. It's been quite a while since I've dealt with this stuff, but I think, if I remember correctly, you know, I'll just do it with coordinates. Um, there are many ways of doing this, but I can never remember the best one. Um, so that's positive x and that is positive z. So, positive x, positive z. So, as I recall, it's a longer distance on the... Oh, uh, which side is it? Jesus! This should not be so difficult for me. It's an 8x8 eight eight square is the thing. Um, and the spawner is not centered, obviously, because it's an 8x8. Eight square and it's a one by one block um so in order to get that eight by eight square correct it's not the size of the dungeon obviously the dungeon is f what five one two three four five yeah looks like five five by five instead of eight by eight so the box actually needs to be quite a bit bigger to maximize the spawning spots available how did i not notice that iron up there I wonder if I caught that on camera and people have been yelling at their screen all this time. Ha. Huh. It's funny because people watching me, people watching this series. Anyway, um, so this level here should be the lowest that they could spawn. This would be where their feet would be because... Um, there's a uh, three high space centered on the spawner vertically um, that they can spawn in so um, that's where within which they will try to spawn it freaks me out that it keeps slowing down like that that's weird huh anyway so um, since their head is in that 3x3 three three area here, they should be able to spawn. And also, um, with their feet at this layer, they'd be able to spawn. So I'd need to have the ceiling here. Um, although the ceiling is probably not going to matter that much. I'm not going to care about the ceiling nearly as much. And I'm 
not sure if zombies spawn in midair. I'm just realizing that I don't really know how that works. I don't know if they have to have a block beneath their feet. There are ways of testing these things, but I don't feel like it right now. <sighs> you know what? I just wanted this to be a quick job, and it's rapidly turning into a long job, and I'm talking on and on about it, and I'm accomplishing very little, and I'm getting sick of that. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm just going to make this really simple and not worry about it too much. I am just going to make it, um, I'm probably going to pull out this cobblestone and just make it that big, which would be six by six, seven by seven, something like that. Um, and Um, so it won't be ideal, yeah, it has to be 7x7, seven seven. um, and it will not be ideal, but it will get the job done, um, there will be some spawning spaces that are not utilized, but theoretically I should be able to get, you know, a decent rate of mob spawning. Um, and I can show off a few tricks that I have picked up which are pretty nifty for this kind of thing and hopefully I'll be able to make it look decent as well. Those are my goals. Those are basically my goals for this, you know, mini project thing. Um, can if I don't get it done by the end of this episode I'll just say to heck with it and end the episode work on it off camera and you know get something done for next time oh I completely forgot I was gonna do all that junk with um setting up the enchantment room and stuff because I just got diamonds hey, hey um Andrew's offline um, yeah, I definitely will turn off Skype in the future, but, um, yeah, I might just work on this off camera, actually, it's not that interesting or important, so I might just relegate that to off camera and spend the remaining period of time working on something else, something more productive, something more interesting and worth my time. Uh, leave that, oh sure, why not, there, and go away. I'll just leave this like that for now. Um, still looks kind of horrible, but whatever. Um, I'll pretty it up later, I don't even care. I do not even care. Right now, I'm going to head back up to the surface, grab diamonds, um, and then need to eat something. Grab diamonds, make a diamond pick, grab a bucket, um, and use said bucket to make some obsidian. Then, um, grab said obsidian with the diamond pick and then go from there. I'll figure out where the heck I want my enchanting room. I'm still not entirely sure actually. I guess I want it down there to be near my XP farm. Um, I'll leave two in here for the enchanting table. I'll probably come back up for them. I don't feel like having all my diamonds on my person at one time. Um, yeah, it should be good. Um, and I will, yeah, let's, sticks into first diamond pickaxe, like a boss, and I'll put that there. So let's go, oh no, I almost did, hang on a minute, I do need a bucket because I don't 
I'm not entirely certain I know where there is um, existing um, obsidian. Actually, I'm probably going to want to grab a couple buckets. I may as well transport lava away and then um, dump water on it so that I'm not worried about um, lava underneath. Straightforward enough. Okay. So, aside from my obsessive compulsively tending my cocoa bean farm, I think we're ready to go. Let's head down. I'm going to head down because you are not part of my world. This is my world. You are not welcome in my world. Uh, really hesitant to start up with the whole lava currents thing. <sighs> oh well. Whatever. You have to start someplace. Alright. It's not like I'm probably going to be coming down here all that often anyway. Except to mine. So boom, 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 boom. And... Now I have some lava to work with. I guess I'll just go down here. Um, that there. That there. Then that there. And that there. I just nearly walked directly into the lava. I don't know if you saw that, but that was kind of bad. Could easily have been a lot worse. And now I dig up the obsidian for a little while. This right here will be my enchanting table. Um, and I'm actually thinking right now that I might just want to um, make my portal just, you know, by working with a mold rather than trying to um, mine out all this obsidian because it's kind of a pain to mine obsidian. I can, but I'm hesitant to do it on camera. Um, but right now I think, um, I should have brought my diamonds with me. Oh well, I'll go grab more lava. And where was I taking from? I took from over there. Whatever, I'll take from over here now. Mess up all the lava. And there, there. There we go. And I think I'll make my portal down here. Because I feel like making my portal down here. Probably pretty the entire area up. It'll be a lot nicer than it is now. The heck just happened with my buckets. All right. Um, uh, like this, and that'll be where my portal is. I am going to need to mess with stuff in order to make it work more nicely, but for now this will work that, then that, then that like that, that kind of thing, that kind of thing, and so I guess I'm probably going to do the rest of this off camera because I'm going to need to take out this entire area, then put it back, and that kind of thing. Probably next episode, I'll have all this area cleaned out, and it'll be a nice portal room down here. But, just for now, um, I guess I'm pretty much done. Uh, so, I guess I will sign out, and be back when I have more.